Oh my god, I can't believe I'm filming this! I can't believe I'm filming this! I can't believe I'm filming this! Oh my god, I don't even know what to say. Oh. Hello Musketeers and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a very special story time that I never thought I would ever be able to tell you guys and I'm just ecstatic. So I'm going to tell you about how I got to go to Club 33 and all of my wonderful, wonderful details of the beautiful experience that I had there. So if you want to see a little sneak peek inside to what Club 33 is like, keep watching. Okay, so I feel like the first thing that I need to tell you is how it happened. I am not a member. I've had people reach out to me on Instagram and ask me about how to get in. I'm not a member. I was a guest of a guest of a guest. So long story short, you guys have met my friend Erin. We went to Disneyland together a lot. She's been in vlogs and on Instagram. Erin knows someone who knows someone who knows someone and they were able to get us a reservation. We went with two other people and it was fun. I mean, I, it was my first time meeting the other two ladies that went with us and we had a blast. I think that actually made it cooler because we got to have a real conversation and we we're all kind of Disney buffs so we were all excited but then we didn't know each other so we had things to talk about about who we are and what we do and blah 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 blah. blah. So that's the background of how I got in. I had a less than a week's notice. I was flying up to NorCal, aka Northern California, for uh, one night. And when she told me, I was like, fine, but on Sunday, I'm flying back into LA at 11 a.m. She said, I'll pick you up. So she picked me up from the airport and we went down to Disneyland. We had a normal day at Disneyland and then at about 4.45, our reservation was at 5.15, I started getting insanely nervous. Like, so nervous, I, I was, my stomach was in knots, I was not hungry, even though I was about to eat a fine dining meal, and it was just, I was so nervous. So then, we know exactly where to go, obviously, because we'd already scoped it out, we were casing the joint before we went, so, but before we got in, we took turns taking a bazillion pictures outside of Club 33. We were taking pictures of pre pretending to press the button and blah, blah, blah. But when it's time for our reservation, it's like 5.10. We, me and Aaron, push the Club 33 button and they say, Club 33, how may I help you? And we said, we have reservations for 5.15. We gave her our name and she said, one moment. And the door opens and we are greeted into like this little atrium Atrium, I'm not sure if that's the right word. This like little ante room, it's like a lobby where there's a desk and then there's a case full of Club 33 merch, which I didn't know there was Club 33 merch, so that to come, that, that'll come soon. So they told us the rules, which was you can take pictures of anything except for no pictures in the bathroom and no video recording at all. No videos at all. So I was like, yes, I can take pictures. So I'll be inserting pictures throughout this whole video. So I'm gonna move over here so that there's some room for my pictures. We are then escorted into the Court of Angels and it's that spiral staircase, well, it's not really a spiral, that curved staircase over in Disneyland, which is, it used to be a place where you can go if you were just in regular Disneyland, but since the Club 33 remodel, they separated it off, so it's special. And it was Christmas themed. Their motif was like a white, blue, gold, and I was wearing blue, black, and gold, so I just accidentally fit this Christmas theme that they had going on, but we took a bunch of pictures in there, and then someone came down and said, our table is ready. There were refreshments, there was like a nice tea, an iced tea. So then we were brought to our table, she showed us around, we saw the vulture, he was cute, and we didn't hear him talk until the end. And then we are brought to our table, so I took pictures of the surrounding area, it was beautiful. I took pictures of the table setting, which was stunning, apparently they just redid it all, and they just redid all of the place settings for Christmas, so it also matched the blue theme. So the plates were gorgeous, they had a little Club 33 on them. I mean, it was stunning. And then the guy comes over and says, here's a stool for your bags. So we put our bags on this little stool because we can't put your bags on the floor, of course not. We got a pre-dinner cocktail. We got a French 75 because it's champagne and it's the French Quarter because it's in New Orleans Square. So we got a French 75 and then our waiter comes over to give us our menus. But as he does that, we see, actually it was behind me, we see Mickey's head. So we're like, Mickey's here, Mickey's here. So we jumped up off the table. Our waiter, whose name was Matt, was like, 
Yeah, that's, we'll talk dinner later. Go ahead. So we ran over to Mickey and Minnie. We had a really fun moment with them. There was a guy taking pictures. So we took a bunch of pictures and it was first me and Aaron. And then the two other women that were with us were going to come in. So the guy was like, swap. And then Mickey runs out of the photo because he was like, oh, we're switching positions. And it was just this really fun, like comedic moment between Mickey and Minnie. And it was just a riot. And they looked so cute. And again, they matched my outfits. So I, I was just beyond. Then we go back to the table, settle in, and we settle on the premier wine pairing with the five course salon dinner menu. And oh my God, it was so good. We first had an amuse bouche, which was a, um, it was a potato puree. It had some capers. I think it even had some roe in there and tiny little spoon. It was beyond delicious. And then I got for my first course, I got the king snow crab claws in butter. Uh, there's a lot more details to it, but it's on the menu, which I showed you. So delicious. Definitely one of my favorite things at the meal. And the wine pairing with it was just amazing. I don't know too much about wine. I know some nice wines. My parents have taught me well, but I took pictures of all of the wines to send to my dad to be like, look, I did know one. I did know one. And then the second course I got, what did I get? What was the second course? Oh, the second course, I got a French onion soup. And it was the best French onion soup I've ever had. The bread in the soup, you know, it usually gets soggy. It was still chewy. So it was soggy, but it was still like the the crust of the bread was so beautifully done that it was still like a chewiness to it. Oh, it was so good. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And then my third course I had was the wild boar ragu, which again was delish. Loved it. And I don't really have much else to say about the food other than it was good because I am an adventurous eater, but I don't, I don't know enough to like really comment on it in detail, but it was delicious. So after the wild boar ragu, there was a palate cleanser and that was a peach sorbet in like a peach puree. So it was cold. And when I was telling the story to my students, I was like, it's like the princess diary scene where she's at that fine dining meal and she takes the big green spoon as the palate cleanser or whatever and throws it all in her mouth, but it's frozen. And she was like, oh. anyways, it was like that. It was very refreshing and it was cool. And then my main course came in, which I got the New York steak with scalloped potatoes. Now I'm, that's my only issue was that I was sad about my entree because it was good. It was good. I did not think it was phenomenal. It was very good, very good. But I had a bite of one of the other women's goose pot pie, goose pot pie, and that was the best thing, best entree I've ever had. So I was very jealous. And then I looked at my meat, which was perfectly rare and just beautifully cooked, and it was not as good as the goose pot pie. And you know what? Now I'm learning when I'm going to these places, get something that you don't normally get. So the goose pot pie, Oh, so good. And that brings us to dessert. I got the hand pie, the warm winter pear hand pie. Yeah, with caramel and hazelnut and it was so good. I'm not really a desserts person. I'd usually prefer like an extra appetizer for dessert, but it was so, so delicious. I pretty much licked my plate clean out of all of the dishes, except for the fact that I didn't lick my plate clean because we were trying to be good, even though it was very clear that we didn't fit in there. And then we also got a cheese plate because there was a cheese plate option. So we asked Matt if we could add that on and he said, sure. So we added it on and he was so amazing. He, oh, I just, we loved him. He came and told us his experience there. He'd worked there for 19 years. And he just, he, I think he liked us because we were not too serious. We were being really silly, but we also were respectful and we really appreciated being there. So it was just like this great combination. After dinner, we then went to the, oh wait, I forgot to tell you something. So when we first sat down, we got these welcome bags. Ooh. Ah, so it's a Club 33 welcome bag. I'm gonna do a bit of an unboxing. I haven't really opened this fully. But it has macarons, macarons, has macarons, which Matt also brought over extra macarons, which I need to eat these because it's been a week and they're probably not as fresh, but I really wanted to film this video and have it, whatever. I sacrificed, but I'll eat them anyway. So like, what do I care? And then it also has, I'm pretty sure this is the menu. Yeah, it is. I'm looking at it right now. It is. This is the menu. I don't really want to open it. I'll open the other thing, but I don't really want to open it because it's so beautiful. It has Club 33 ribbon on it. And then I'm looking inside. There's a Club 33 seal. And this is the menu that we had that night. So obviously it has all the courses on it. So it wasn't personalized to me, but it was personalized to what they served at dinner that night. 
and then I took this from the bathroom. I hope that's allowed. This was not given to us, but I took it. It's a Club 33 hand towel. Ooh, please don't kill me, Disney. And then this really pretty card, which they said was a card signed by all the people working that night. I'm very sad that I'm now going to open this. Okay, here we go. Pretty, pretty ribbon. Oh my God, this is the first time I'm looking at this. So it has a little Mickey cap, Club 33, has 33 on the back. Oh, don't mind my nails. I meant to paint them before this video and then I got just too excited. Okay, so it says, welcome from Club 33, and then has all the people working that night who signed it. I don't see Matt's signature. All right, maybe not Matt, but uh, supposedly all the people that signed it are people who were working that night. So that's just really cute. Yay. There's that, and then I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for my welcome bag. But you know I'm never getting rid of this bag ever in my life because I don't think I'm going back there. I, I was thinking about it and I just have a feeling that this was my moment and I, oh, I lived it up. Don't worry, don't you worry. We were there for five hours. I didn't tell you that. We were there for five hours. We got there at 5.15 and we left at 10.15. Meanwhile, I was planning to be home in bed at eight. So what's wrong with me that I thought that? It was like 7.30 and we were on course number three and I was like, ooh boy, we are really gonna be late. Not that it really mattered, I didn't care. I was, if I could stay there forever, I would have stayed there forever which kind of felt like we were doing. After dinner, we then went to the merch store. So there was a lot of merch and um, your girl didn't disappoint in this now unboxing haul, Club 33 haul. So let's just go over what I got. So I've already opened two of the things because I already used it. <gasps> Did I break it? Oh no, I didn't break it. I just panicked. Oh my God, I just panicked. The first thing I've been using is this Club 33 wine glass. It is just a regular, beautiful wine glass. It says Club 33 etched in it. It's stunning. And then in the same vein, I also got this rocks glass for my boyfriend. It says Club 33 as well. And it's very heavy, like very heavy. This is a very thick glass and it's really nice. It feels elegant, it feels elegant. So I've already been using those, so I'm gonna go put them away because I, the, the feeling that I just had when I thought I broke it, I never wanna feel that again. So I'm gonna go and put this away very carefully. BRB. Continuing along, oh also the stickers on them all say Club 33. I keep saying Club 33, it says 33 on it. But this is a martini glass and it kind of looks like these would be like diamonds, but it's beautiful just, I don't know what you call this, they're little pyramids, and it says Club 33 on it. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Now I'm terrified I'm gonna break this, but I don't have any martini glasses, so I thought might as well get one because I'm never getting in that store again, so I'd like to buy everything. I didn't buy everything, but I bought a lot of things. I also got this ornament. So this is a glass ornament. Oh my God, I'm gonna put this around my finger because I'm terrified. This is a glass ornament. And I guess it used to be only available to members. Oh yeah, there are members only items in there too. So I couldn't get any of those. But this used to be until this year. So it's just a Club 33 ornament. And then in the background, you can see it has the little court of angels and it has a Christmas tree. I don't know if you can see. And then on the back, it says 2018 Club 33. I collect ornaments. My mom's been getting us ornaments every year on Christmas Eve for something big that happened that year. So I'm kind of taking on the tradition myself and getting myself ornaments for pretty monumental things. And I'm gonna go with this as a check on the monumental list, bucket list really. All right, now the last thing I have to take my ears off for. I think that means you know what it is. It is. Club 33 ears, which I didn't even know they made these. I did not know that they made these. I've never seen anyone wear them. So they're gold, they have some blue. This is blue, it has a little bit of green. Is it green? I don't know if it's green or if it's like the gold feeding into the blue, which blue and yellow make gold, green. Blue and yellow make green, so blue and gold. Anyways, I can't tell if it's an optical illusion, but they're so pretty, and I kind of am mad at myself that I didn't put them on with my outfit. Oh, these are way more comfortable than my crystal ones I've been wearing. But these matched my outfit perfectly, so I'm kind of mad that I wasn't wearing them the whole time, but I didn't get them till the end, and I should have taken some pictures, but whatever. What's done is done, and now I have these forevermore. I don't know what else to say other than this was a dream come true, never thought it would be able to happen, 
and I'm so thankful to Aaron. Thank you, Aaron, if you're watching. I love you. And I just aunt. And I feel very blessed and grateful. And I don't know, just when things happen like this, you gotta live in the moment and just appreciate everything that you have. Like, could I afford that very expensive meal and all of these items? No, but you know, you have to treat yourself when the moment comes around. I don't know, I'm just still basking in it. It's been a week, a week tomorrow. Huh. It was a wonderful holiday magical time. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, P.S. 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 I forgot to say that we went out onto the balcony after dinner and Fantasmic was playing and you can see Fantasmic. Matt said it wasn't a very good view, but honestly, it was. You just had to duck under the trees and look down at all the people in Disneyland. I'm not going to call them peasants because I was once a peasant. I still am a peasant. I'm a peasant. Anyways, you look down at all the people watching Fantasmic and then people didn't even see us. We were standing up there and no one was looking back at us because everyone was watching Fantasmic. It was magical. I just, oh, it was great. Okay. Anyways, I forgot to tell you that. So that was cool too. These is extra magic moments. These is extra magic moments. Yo, I got a new ring light and I'm getting very, very overwhelmed and distracted by the light. This is my first time filming on it, so I'm feeling a little distracted. My feet dirty? Ew! <laughs> my feet are so dirty. Okay, anyways. I gotta know, my friends, we can